Hey everyone, this is Chris with TIG Painting and Home Repairs. Today, we're going to be matching the texture on your wall. Now first, what you want to do is have some paint texture. This was purchased at Lowe's. It's basically just sand, but it helps give like a rocky texture to your paint. Next, you like a paint of your choice. It could be oil-based, it could be acrylic, anything you would like to paint with. You're going to need a roller tray, and you're going to need a little roller. So first, what you want to do is get your paint and pour a little bit inside the roller tray. And make sure you clean off your edges. You don't want paint spilling everywhere. Clean off your finger. Next you're gonna get the sand that comes in the texture bag and you're gonna pour a little inside your paint. Now there's not a for sure amount, you just you just pour what you think you're gonna need. You can always add more, but remember, you can always add more, you can't take away, so start off with a little bit. You just mix it up. And now it may not look very rough inside the, um, the tray, but I guarantee you when you put it on the wall, it will be a lot rougher than you think. This is ready, let's go put it on the wall. So now here we are at our patch. Now if you check out our previous video, we'll teach you how to repair patches and walls where you have big holes and you need to replace it with some more drywall. And now as you can see, this wall has texture, but when we did our patch, it's smooth. So the point of this sand is to copy and make the texture even throughout the entire surface. So check the link in the description if you want to see our video on how to patch holes. Now we just make sure your roller is very saturated. You want a lot of that sand in there. Clean out the drips and just apply. Now make sure you're applying even coats and when you start running out of paint on the edges, just don't be afraid to grab a little more. This doesn't have to be perfect because the texture is not perfect. Just go up, up until there's texture. You go back and forth. You want to go in every direction just to make sure that all the, there's no sand on top of each other, everything's laid out nice and even. And as you can see, the texture now matches the texture of your original wall. Now you just want to repeat this to anywhere that you have texture on your walls and you'll be set. Thank you for watching. Now if you want to check out any more DIY videos, just check out some more of our videos. Bye.